Sometimes people ask about how the dating scene is here at the Institute. It's a disaster, frankly. It, we need more guys. It, we just, we need lots of guys because there seems to be like two to, let's see, it's like three to one, three girls to one guy. And I'm not saying that, mm, hold on. Um, you have about two to one women to men. Uh, so that's a problem right off the bat, isn't it? And then most of the guys are a little bit shy. They don't really want to ask a lady out. They want to do the group date thing. Hang out, do things with other people um, around town. Eat out, basically, and that's my plans, eat out. Because I have this place in town I like to eat. It's really good. The Fly Stop Welcome Center is a great place to hang out. You get to play pool with babes on the weekdays, and sometimes you get to play ping pong with Garrett if he's there, and that's really fun too. I, I'm not taking institute classes, so I don't know how those are. I'm sure they're they're pretty cool, but I like girls, and there's girls there, so that's a big reason I like that the Flag Stop Welcome Center. Now, group dating is what you're told to do when you're in high school. But when you get back from your mission, or when you hit that, you know, 20, 21-year-old age range, it's time to start pairing off one-on-one, -on -one, learn how to have a relationship with one person. The group dating is a little too safe. <laughs> so, so, I don't know, it's a little bit tough. The ladies are a little shy to ask the guys. That's not the society that we're in generally. Uh, and the guys are out of money, so they don't want to ask the girls out. So it's a problem. I'd say the dating scene in Flagstaff, it's pretty good. I went on a date with, with a girl one night and I got her Arby's and we watched The Princess Bride and it was really, it was fun. And we got a, had a good time and cuddled a little bit and and then I went on a date with another girl anyways I'm just I need to talk about the dating scene itself not just my dates <laughs> specifically but I think it's a good place I mean I've asked a couple girls out they've said yes so that's good to me you know just go up and ask them and they'll probably say yes if they don't then find somebody else because the ratio is pretty much three to one so you've got lots of opportunities And I think there's a great importance to having a spot because a man's home is his castle, but a woman's spot is her fortress. My study spot would be, well right now there, there's the, um, I, I like to hang out in the main room, but I've been finding it really hard to stay focused lately, so I'm going to have to find another spot to go. Um, but for right now, it's uh, where the tables are in the main room. Everyone has their own spot. Everyone has their own spot. And if you can't respect the spot, you need to leave and find your own spot. This is war. Spot wars. I hear that there have, that there have been some really rude individuals who decided to take other people's spots. This is unacceptable because a spot is sacred. It's a man's castle, it's a woman's fortress. Um, so I've taken it upon myself to, to get, some, get some people here, some reliable people. And we are hiring ourselves out as essentially mercenaries and guards to make sure that certain spots are not claimed by their unrightful owners. No, I like to think that I take more of an evasive tactic, but I think at this point people people should just know, you know. But if they want if they want blood, there will be blood. I'm just waiting. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And if you are interested in such services, don't worry. You, we just charge $5 a week. 
and um, we will we will club anyone who tries to take your spot. I like a lot of stuff. I'm just here and I'm happy no matter what. <laughs> so yeah.